You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Hi, if you're struggling with your relationship or you just can't seem to find the right one, author Gerald Manuel has written an enlightening new book entitled How to Identify Your Spiritual Soulmate. You may order a copy today from Amazon.com or at BarnesandNoble.com. This book is sure to answer many of the questions you may have. Thank you and God bless you. Hey, it's Robin Lynn from Robin Lynn's Productions, and you're now listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide. You are listening to PositivePower21.org with Jerry Royce. What up? It's your boy, Kano Kingston. Hi, this is Angel Session. Hey, this is Kat. Hi. Hi, I'm Teresa Powell. Hi, Jerry. This is Iowa Sandro Carter. Hi, this is Paul Powell. Hello, this is Teresa Bobby with Jerry Roy Hi, I'm Phil LeBaron. I'm live on the Jerry Roy Show. Hi, what do you do? This is your boy, Houston Saint. Peace, this is Dolly, the poet, spoken word artist. Hello, this is Lamar Keith with Jerry Roy Live. All right, all right, everyone. you got Robin Lynn, and I'm keeping it live right now on Jerry Roy Live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's up? This is a world winning podcast with the greatest podcast on earth. Thank you for stopping by. I'm your host, Jerry Voice Live Worldwide on Internet Radio, where you get your positive on. So when it's all positive, it's all power. That's positive power. This is a worldwide podcast for growth, wealth, and success. Thank you. Think you know how drugs get in those little brown bottles? Think again. Set in the green hills of western New Jersey, inside the gilded halls of power of a U.S. pharmaceutical company where decisions are worth billions of dollars and human lives worth less. Nicholas Harding, a young executive at Marshall Pharmaceutical, finds his career, family, and life in jeopardy. The Farmhouse, a success thriller novel by Bill Powers, published by Donna Inc. Publications, available at Amazon.com. Inc.org. Go to Bill's webpage at www.authorbillpowers.com. Are you looking for the next great read? A book filled with love, passion, betrayal, and intrigue. The award-winning novel, Season of Change, by Tamika Patrice Kane is sure to satisfy your literary sweet tooth. Check out this must-read book reviewers are calling uplifting and emotional and exceptionally great read, deeply intense and thought-provoking. Order your copy today, available in paperback and ebook on Amazon.com or at www.TamikaPatrice.com. Are you an author looking for promotional services or a reader looking for a great read at low prices? In this competitive world of books, Writing Royalty Promotions is dedicated to bringing authors and readers together to build a greater respect for literature through our various promotional services and online bookstore. So head over to writingroyaltypromotions.com and check us out. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining us and welcome to Positive Power 21.org. I am Jerry Royce Live Worldwide and you're listening to episode 339. That's straight 339 with Robin Lynn. Robin Lynn Production from Vibe Live. Freaker.com is here in the studio for us tonight. But before we bring her on, let's listen to a word from our sponsors. All right, so everybody hold tight for a few seconds while we hear from my man, James Deshay. That's right, the poetry man. He's romance. Are you looking for a great book of poetry that is romantic, heartfelt, and full of male emotion? Then get Thoughts, Love, and Reflections by James K. Deshay. That's D-E-S-H-A-Y. Go to www.jamesdeshay.com. You will enjoy Thoughts, Love, and Reflections. 
All right, everybody. Thank you for joining us. And we want to say thank you so much for being part of Positive Power 21. I want to see everybody hitting up on our YouTube video. Yes, yes, Joy was live in the community. That's right, sir. Hanging out at Dan's Cigar Lounge with some positive brothers and some positive sisters. Of course, they uh, they were having a good time with their, their, their good cognac and their expensive cigars. And we enjoyed uh, some listening pleasure with Jazzy Blue out of Washington, D.C. will be coming to Blues Alley, I believe, in June. So we're looking forward to that. Of course, we can get in because once the word get out, you know, we love our jazz here in Baltimore, D.C. That's right, the whole Merlin area. It's not a lot of those groups, but when, when they do perform, everybody do show up in big numbers. All right. Tonight... We had Robin Lynn on the show. We had her here before. She's here for a really good cause. You know, she's based down there in Florida doing her thing. She's one of the top podcasters in the country. That's right. Worldwide. We're learning from her. But she's here to talk about a really, really hot topic. Hot topic called Man Up. What's the urgency for men to man up now? Especially what's going on. Because almost every other week, of course, the president, a brother is going down by the bullet of a police officer. And of course, it's even worse when it comes to uh, crime, black on black crime. And I'm sure they always say, you know, black lives do matter, but we all got to step up. We need our clergymen. We need our community leaders. We need our teachers, our principals, everybody, local, federal government. Everybody got to come together. It's time. And the good thing that, that happened uh, with the group that I'm dealing with called the Inner Sanctuary Group, which I'll tell you, group of, uh, you know, local and federal police officers and entrepreneurs and some lawyers and owner of uh, Dan's Cigar Lounge. They're talking about these kind of things, and uh, we're going to be joining them in some of their meetings to find out what are some of the ideas they're coming up with to try to reach some of these young people, that's right, so they can have a future in this world, that's right, good future, just like we have, the way we, we came up, and be positive. Now, she's going to have... Um, Judge, that's right, Judge Joseph Brown on her show tomorrow night. She's going to be Wednesday, April 29th, between 6. I'm not sure how long the show going to run, but she's going to give you all the information. You're going to need the calling number. It's going to be right here on the landing page on Spreaker. We'll try to get out on our website for you also so you can join in tomorrow. Um, they're going to be talking about uh, this group called Family Distress. That's right, they serve men, women, and children in all areas of life. And um, they include mentoring, coaching, and development. It's their goal to provide the whole community spirit and bring resolution to violent situation, natural disaster, community organized response to emergencies, as well as working with educational entities and mentoring children and parents in the community. They invite you to support their vision of their foundation by purchasing a copy of some books that they are going to be releasing. They are five hundred one C three organizations, so everything is tax deductible. Their website is www.familyindistress.org. And they have a phone number for you. It's 305-316-3772. And again, that will be on the page if you have the app for Spreaker.com forward slash Positive Power 21. Or just come out to PositivePower21.org and you will see it on our home page. Okay. No further ado. Lady Robin Lynn, what's going on? How you doing tonight? I am doing great, and so are you. You did such a good job, the world's greatest podcaster. I don't even need to say that more. Thank you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just love it, Robin. Just love it. You know, especially now. You know, we got. You know, it's, a, it's like a. You know, need. You know, we need what we're doing. You know, you, now you yeah. find we found our purpose. You know, yeah. dealing with the community, putting the word out there because you know. People listening to us, you know, all over the world, you know, internet travels, and you know more yeah. than anybody how it travels, because you do so yeah. well with it. So tell us a little bit about Robin. So who is Robin Lynn? Before you get into, you know, talking about distressed family, we, we want to know again, who is Robin Lynn? Well, uh, uh, I'm a minister, first and foremost. I love God, and I love spreading the word of God, but um, I have a passion for helping people. And, and uh, I've got this gift, I'm um, just like a computer whiz, and especially on the Internet. There's nothing I can't do on the Internet. And so I just go around, uh, I call myself an Internet producer, and I just go around on the Internet, you know, just uh, providing tech support 
and supporting uh, others in their ministries and in their in their uh, lines, a field, anything that any anything that you can do, I can probably support it when it comes to on the internet. So if you need a website, if you need uh, exposure, you know, airplay, promotion, several radio stations, radio blogs, and all that. But um, as much as I'm out here co-hosting and blogging, I'm really more of a, a of a behind the scene person, and I'm happiest in the support role. So you know, I call Robin Lynn Productions a cornucopia of entertainment, education, network, and support services. <laughs> you something else you are something else you know, I always tease you about I need that video but I know you're working hard making things happen down in Florida and it's, it's good that you know you're down that way you know up here I'm you know I'm meeting some people trying to do the same thing it, you know a guy he's uh he's networking through um New York to West Virginia, trying to do some things with some people in that area. And, and I'm mm-hmm. finding out there's a lot of people trying to do things that's on the internet, not just come on here and just be clowning all the time. It's like it's some people really yeah. doing some serious stuff. And I can see how God is really blessing us, too, you know, giving yeah. us the, the what we need, the resources to even reach even further, bringing the right people to Of course, when you get started, you know, you're trying to entertain whoever you can to, to yeah. get started. But now yeah. he got us he got us going upward. Now we got to do our thing, and, and you're doing yeah. your thing, lady. You, that's why I call you Lady <laughs> Robin Lynn. You ain't no just Robin Lynn production. You Lady Robin Lynn. Oh. Right. <laughs> you you know, the, you, madam. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm glad that you mentioned about the, the Internet because um, with the, the social networking and the social marketing, uh, um, it, it just levels the playing field. And and yeah. um, and it just it, it gives everyone really a fair shot, and you don't even have to have a lot of money uh, 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 to mm-hmm. do it. And the internet, everything is going to the internet and the mobile platform. Everyone is getting their entertainment and their content on demand, and so you need to be on those, be able to get to those mobile devices and on the internet and and all of that. And again, podcasting, it's, it's just the way to go. And so you've got an exchange yeah. of information and knowledge and technology, and, and it's, just, it's just awesome. It's uh, uh, some of the greater exploits that God spoke of back in the, in the, in the, in the Bible, you know, greater mm-hmm. exploits. Yes. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you know, you know, it's funny, you know, how you talk about technology because um, I got I got to take my hat off the speaker. Um, mm-hmm. Of course, it was a little challenging for me in the beginning to, to you know, to really try to connect, you know, the 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 you know the platform we have to speaker because I think, like you mentioned before, it's really designed for DJs, you know, yeah. uploading their music, the MP3 files. But as long as we can find another platform to offer a strong audio, you know, clear, you know, sounding like just like where we are now with, you know, using the teleconference system or whatever. As long as you can get an MP3, FLAV, mm-hmm. or MP4 file and upload it, they're going to give you super quality, you know, so it, ha- mm-hmm. it has to happen on your end. And then with the equipment that, that you can purchase now, the laptops and the desktops are so reasonable now. You know, you can have, man, I got monitors all over the place, you know, so I don't have to like, oh, hold on, let I pull that. I can have everything up that I want. And where I'm going at is I, when I was at that event on Saturday, um, my, yeah. my buddy, you know, which he called, you know, we like brothers. We grew up with each other since we were in, in grade school. He was going around telling everybody, you know, we broadcasting in, in 15, 20 countries. You got Jersey live right here because I was putting it on my YouTube channel, but I was actually recording it, you know. But then mm-hmm. this one guy walked up on me, you know, I guess he had a couple cognacs and some cigars. He was feeling like, he walked up on me and said, Jerry was live. You're not live. I'm on your website right now. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh. Mm-hmm. I was like, uh-oh. I told my boy, I said, man, I got to really go live, man. Luckily, I had my tablet with me which I use mm-hmm. as my camera. It's, you know, it's like a little carry case, nice and pad. I can, you know, do whatever I want with it, show it up like a TV. You know, it does everything. I can hook it up to a tripod. So I ended up going to Spreaker, hit the uh-huh. live button. I connected to the guy's um, Wi-Fi when the instant, and, man, I was mm-hmm. live like in seconds, in seconds. Yeah. And, um, 
He recorded yeah. everything so clearly, and people were actually checking it out through their Bluetooth. You know. Yeah, that app, that that speaker app on the on the cell phones, man, that's hot. It has an excellent mic. <laughs> And you just get, mm-hmm. oh, my goodness. I'd be like, man, I'm going to broadcast all my stuff from my little cell phone. It's like, yeah, so I just, you are, you know, like I said, I had my right tablet. now. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, thing was, that thing was awesome. I mean, because I have, a, you know, I carry like an 8-inch uh, uh, Samsung tablet, and it's inside of a little foam case, and, you know, mm-hmm. you flip. It can do all kinds of things for people. You know, I use it at ball games for my son's football game and everything. And mm-hmm. uh, it, it it was a really clean broadcast. I mean, I picked it picked up the band nice and clear. Yeah, so everybody was really impressed. Um, I've been playing uh, the yeah. show all you know pretty much most of the week. And shout out well. to Sweeter. Shout out to Sweeter. Yeah. Awesome, <laughs> awesome platform. So I would just say keep up the good work. And I think that's a new app. You know, and, you know. If you, Come to think of it, I don't think it's been out there long, that new app. No, uh, uh, less than a year. I want to say about seven, eight months now, if that long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, you know, and it, and it runs yeah. on an iOS system, too. I haven't used it on my phone yet, but um, I think I did use it when I went to the Stevie Wonder concert, and that came out really nice, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I didn't, yeah. I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat Stevie by going live, though. I just recorded it for my own listening pleasure. <laughs> I didn't want to do that. Man, you know, I ain't even going to front. I will broadcast live. I will take Vibes live on the road in a heartbeat. I don't, I don't yeah. care. I'm doing what I do, Jerry. I, I'm just going to have to. I'm right with you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, you know, I'm right with you now. You know, I said, if I'm out there in the community, and, you know, I think I told some people, um, you mm-hmm. know, that um, Brandon is actually um, entertaining the idea. Well, he actually has started the, the paperwork, the process, everything. Um, mm-hmm. His the smoothie truck is in the process. And yeah. um, Jerry was live, going to be on the road with him when he, hit, you know, he, when he does these events. So we're looking to have everything oh, probably oh, oh. in motion probably by this summer. So we're really excited about that. You know, yeah. Out and um, going live right there on the, on the smoothie truck. That's that right. is awesome. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm the Productions and Promotions Manager for Freedom Doors Ministries uh, blog talk radio show, Jesus in the Morning. And uh, mm-hmm. Evangelist Barbara Matt, she used to double back in the afternoon. And so she would go to downtown Jacksonville, uh, 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 where are we at, Florida? And she would take sandwiches mm-hmm. and food and pass the bags out. And then she would call. I'd be on the other end. And I'd fire up the show again, and we used to do shout out to Jesus in the afternoon. And so as we were passing, wow. as she was giving the food out, the people would come on the air and give a little two minute, two second shout out, you know, shout out mm-hmm. to God. And so that That's going right. on the road is really, um, it's it's really exciting, and it's always a great a great element. You'll always have content, and um, and that's really going to draw a lot of people you know, both listeners and, and content for your show. So that's a that's a brilliant idea. You run with that. Yeah, that's right. yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. And, and, you know, and, and, stop, and that's stop a good by. idea, too, because... hmm Now, I was going to say, that, that's a good idea, too, because you have a lot of strong Bible studies with men going on on Wednesdays and Thursday nights. Um, you got a lot of mm-hmm. discussion that people probably would love to hear. So I, that's one of the things I was looking at doing, um, to see what's going on right here in my community with some men groups and see if they would be interested in, um, um, you know, being involved with a live podcast for what they're trying to yeah. do for God's people. Yeah, good idea. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we got to step it up, right? Yes, the family, family in distress. I love these guys so much that I actually uh, uh, moved to Florida so that I could serve and work with them. So that's how much I love mm-hmm. them. And so... They've got the, uh, the, the weekly radio blog on Wednesday, and they talk about different topics, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll, mm-hmm. we'll have guest speakers as we can. Um, they do the mentoring and development coaching and stuff. Mm-hmm. They've got uh, an awesome classy ladies program every other Saturday, and then they've also got Rated M for Manly, and then we've got the Sunday sermons and Bible studies and things like that, and so... You know, these are the things that are, are really uh, empowering in, in the right. network, in, in the community. That's I'm sorry, right. I'm stuck 
my head is a network. Everything is networked for me now. So. <laughs> it's still a network. It's still a network. It's still the same thing, just offline. So, you know, still a so, network. <laughs> so, you know, when you're, you know, and it's all, all, all about giving back. You know, God blesses That's us right. to be a blessing. And a lot of times when we overcome and rise up and start doing good and stuff like that, we, we kind of tend to forget. Where yeah, where we where, sure. where we come from, see, and then mm. and then all we want to do is just sit up and and have five cars and a big old house and 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 all you can only drive one car at a time, you know you can only your butt can only sit in one chair in one room at a time, you know, and we don't. Sir, I, mean, I got to get one back. Is that what you say? You know, I get our back. No, no. But what you what you want to do is is you know if you see someone in need, you know go on and give them what they need, and yeah, with no gotcha. qualifications too. Don't make them jump through no hoops. Don't judge them and how you got in this place and how you're going to get yourself out of it. If you got it to give up, give it up because somebody yeah, did that very right. very thing for you. God did. So yeah, I'm just mm-hmm. saying. I, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can so, give them a car payment too. Then, yeah. What we gotta do? We gotta do to help our people. You know, get them, get them to, you know, show them the way, show them how to do it. Mm-hmm. I always think about that, um, that story in the Bible where it talked about, you know, how Jesus, you know, fed everybody with, with you know, one loaf of bread, or you know, or mm-hmm. he showed them how to fish so they be able to feed themselves. I always think about that. You know, showing people how to do it, mm-hmm. provide, and be empowered. You know, to empower is like, you know, giving people stuff all the time is not empowering them. You know, it's okay to do it, but I say mm-hmm. let's show them how to do it for themselves mm-hmm. also. Let's give them, you know, give them something even more powerful than just one yeah. meal for that day. Show them how to yeah. be able to provide for themselves and their families. You know, like I like yeah. what some of the at the NFL players are doing. Um, those guys just don't show up on turkey day. They have foundations that are providing ongoing efforts. That's why I feel so yeah. bad when those guys get traded off to another team because then now that program is gone. You know? Yeah. And that's, the, and, that's, and that's the sad part of it. You know, you can't, and, like your legacy, and, you don't and, live on. And see, the sad part, now this is the sad part. It's, it's, it's really great that, you know, someone is doing that, that they're giving these turkeys and, they're, and they've got the ongoing things like that. But mm-hmm. what's sad about it is that, that that's an extraordinary thing. See, we all yeah. should be seeing about each other like that on a daily basis, that it should mm-hmm. be no extraordinary thing that we're giving kudos because somebody steps up, you that's know? Right. That's right. And so, and I don't know, I, I, um, I kind of think differently than everybody else, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. But I always look at it like this one. One guy step away, another one step right in his place. You know, God has another one with even more yeah. money to step right in his spot and keep it yeah. going. I heard Ray Lewis was coming to town because he always claimed this to be a city. And I thought that was real big for him to just put aside or whatever he had going on. I think draft day was going on. He was supposed to be up, I think, in Chicago. He's like, mm-hmm. forget that. My city, my city needs me, and that guy is here. Because I think I heard, yeah. it, I heard him talking to somebody. Now, he wasn't trying to you know, be on the platform with the mayor. He didn't ask for none uh-huh. of that. He's back there in the scene with the clergymen yeah. trying to mobilize See? and get those guys. Because sometimes you do need that leader. Sometimes a the guy, they all leaders in their own church, but they may not know how to lead other leaders. And people yeah. forget about that. You know, Martin Luther King was leading other leaders. He wasn't just leading yeah. the people. He used those yeah. guys to do that. And we don't, you know, we don't really have that guy. You know, that's what people think. Do we have? And then, you know, they're looking at the mayor. The mayor's like, this has never happened before. Nobody, nobody know what to do. Even the governor, he just started. He didn't know what to do. You know, he yeah. was called Martin O'Malley. He never experienced a, a dog on uh, riot before in Baltimore. I mean, the guy that was here in '68 is not here. You know, mm-hmm. so nobody knew what to do. They didn't know. They didn't. They couldn't call the Ferguson or call. To the yeah. uh, North Carolina, and say, what did you guys do? Because they didn't do it right. Nobody knew. Then mm-hmm. now the government probably got to step in and say, okay, we need to put a plan in effect to handle rioting and looting. Because it's all the same. They all react, yeah. you know, from frustration, you know, of something, you know. Uh, uh, this ahead, is sorry. why. This is why I love. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yes, I did. This <laughs> is why I love uh, uh, <laughs> Joe Brown because see, 
you know, uh, his show is, is not running anymore. You know, he right. could be sitting back and, and just and just watching everything, okay? Yes, but see, when, when, when he got the call, you know, and we said, you know, would you please come on and, and talk about what is the urgency? And it couldn't be at, a, at, at the timing, it couldn't be better, you know, about the urgency yes. for men to man up and step up, right. see, He's and right. going out there step fighting up. and looting and rioting, that's not manning up, people. It's not. You know, at some point, mm -hmm. we need to sit down and begin to have some real dialogue because with dialogue, right. there always comes resolution. And so, you know, and it's not, it's not a race thing. There's actually more uh, white people being killed by the police than there are black. So no, really? black still I mean, more, but yes, yes. Yeah, I'll get the stats. I saw them somewhere. I'll get them and send them to you. Mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't yeah. even know that. Nobody's yeah. talked about that. Because I know I saw and, and, a and, group of advocates on the march today that were, that were Asians and Caucasians that were marching. And they were marching because of that young man that got killed. But nobody was talking about the fact it was a race thing. They just said this is something that needs to be taken care of because it's happened too many times. You know? yeah. So obviously they must knew something, but they didn't say on camera because I think because a lot of people probably don't know what you just said and I think they knew yeah. that. there was a lot of um Caucasians and Asians that was among the blacks today that were on the street marching in in, in thousands today you know, yeah see. together and, wow. and they're not gonna they're not gonna talk about that see because it's it's right. not they don't want they want people to think that it's a race thing because they want us fighting amongst each other and fighting each other so that they can, uh, you know, there's some bigger things going on. There's some more devastating things going on, like in the government and in the mm -hmm. CIA and, and in the wars and all this kind of stuff. And they don't want us mm -hmm. having enough time or the inclination that we're going to discover this, you know, what's really going mm -hmm. on. And so um, it's, it's, it's really, really sad that, uh, that, um, that people are, are excited are expendable, whoever they are, you know, it's always they, and we never seem to see them, but they have a lot to say, and they have a lot of power, and it's just really sad that, that they will let people be ex expendable and pit them against each other, you know, and then the next thing you know of, our, 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 our finances are collapsing, yeah. the housing is mm -hmm. collapsing. The job market is collapsing, and everyone is really surprised. But if you open your eyes and look around, all the writing's on the wall. So pay attention. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so I'm, right. I'm really appreciating Judge Joe Brown uh, uh, coming up. Don't you want to ask me how, 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 how I landed Judge Joe Brown? <laughs> well, you, well, you did kind of tell us that, you know, he was just no, standing around, not. sitting around, and he, did, he wanted to step I, up. But I'm, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to ask you, I was going to say, you know, we're we going to come to him on the second half of the show. We're going to take a quick break, and we come back, okay. we're going to talk about your special guest, Judge okay. Joseph Brown, my man, you know, that was my, that's my step, my, my step on. That's my, my uh, father-in-law's <laughs> favorite judge. So he was a little disappointed. You know, when they yeah. him up. But he had a long run, though. He had a really long run, which was very good. So we're going to um, bring him up on the second half of the show because we want to keep our audience tuned in for the entire show. We don't want to just give them like, all the goods early and then they, you know, they're banned the program, right? right? Okay, okay. All right, so hold tight, Robin. Be patient now. All okay. right, y'all, this is Jerry Voice Live and Robin Lynn. That's right, Madam Robin Lynn. We're on Positive Power 21. That was the whole tight. We got a message from Reese. World Publishing. Are you an avid reader of urban fiction looking for drama, suspense, and more? Reese World Publishing is dedicated to bringing the world's best literature to our readers. Urban fiction, erotica, sci-fi, mainstream fiction, and children's literature are just some of the genres produced by our diversified family of authors. You can reach us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at our website, www.reeseworldpublishing.com. Hey, 
everyone. This is Tanika Gonzalez, spoken word poet. Whenever I'm online, I'm always listening to Jerry Royce Live. You can find Jerry on www.speaker.com. Positive Power 21. everybody we're back we're talking to robin lynn it's right of vibe live she's on spreaker.com back forward slash show forward slash family in distress and she's going to have a special guest she had the call number will be 857-232-0159 and your pen is 473012 it will be on the landing page on the show so don't stress yourself a special guest is Judge Joseph Brown. He was everybody's favorite, you know, everybody. Of course, there's a few of them were out there, um, but people love Court Joe, and that is a fact. And let's read a little bit about him. Raised in South Central Los Angeles, Brown graduated at the top of his class at Dorsey High School, then earned a bachelor's degree in political science, and in 1973, a Jewish doctor and degree at UCLA. While in law school, Brown worked as a substitute teacher. He's a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity. Brown became the first African American prosecutor in the city of Memphis. He would later open his own law practice before becoming a judge on the state criminal court of Shelby County, Tennessee. Judge Brown is well known for his syndicated show, Judge Joe Brown, an American arbitration based reality show that premiered on September 14, 1998, and ran through 2012 13 television season. And he will be on Madam Robin Lynn's show tomorrow night. So, again, the number is on the landing page. So don't forget it's at 6 o'clock p.m. And it should be available on demand. Is that right, Robin? Oh, yeah. It's going to be available on demand. And I'm going to be resharing it and reposting it and everything. You won't even have to Google it. Just turn on. If you turn that computer on, it's going to be there. I promise. <laughs> We're going to just start talking to you. That's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is awesome. So how did you so how did you land the great Judge Joseph Brown on your show? I mean, I know you you know, you are the podcast of the year on Spreaker dot com, so it wasn't that hard to do, but how did it happen in your own words? In my own words, I have a secret weapon. Two words. Baid o Baid. <laughs> <laughs> conversing on the phone one day and uh, he says you know uh, I was just asked if I wanted to interview Judge Joe Brown and I, he said but I passed on it and I'm just like rolling my eyes rolling my breath falling out I'm like can I interview him and he goes yeah mm. <laughs> just like wow. that and so and so I think a couple of days after that uh, there, his assistant called and, and Judge Joe was on the line uh, uh, with her. And so we, we, we set it up and we're doing the gosh darn thing tomorrow, just like that. Yeah. So I want to yeah, I want awesome. to give a shout out to uh, Daoud Obaid. I want to thank you, man, because you got me doing some BET stuff and some CBS stuff yeah. and things like this and things like that. That's right. That's right, <laughs> He is the man. He, you know, one thing about him, he had disappeared for a little while, didn't he? Come back, he got something big and, and better for us, you know. <laughs> My man. Now, so is uh is Judge Joseph Brown his one of one of his clients or is this part of a connection? It it's uh you know, I didn't even ask him. I don't believe he's one of his clients, so um but I think that he does work with his uh, with Judge Joe Brown's assistant. And so okay. um I think that they've interviewed uh Bill Cosby before mm -hmm. and so from that connection i think that's where um you know where where that's the doorway but i uh, i don't know i don't care <laughs> <laughs> well i mean the one no, thing i, I, I learned just, about uh, I really don't know. these guys I don't know. <laughs> yeah sometimes we don't we don't really care oh they get it done but one thing mm -hmm. i can say about Dario, a lot of those guys they network now, the plus, Dario, he's been in the industry for a while. A lot of people don't realize he's actually been to Russian radio himself. So he yeah. knows a lot of the people out on the West Coast, you know, that we're, yeah. you know, we're not close with. You know, he elbows, mm -hmm. elbows with those people probably on the daily. 
So mm-hmm. uh, all you got to do is ask, right? Just ask. Yeah. He'll make it, he's yeah. like a genie. You know, what is your wish? And he'll yeah, make it it's happen. like, you know, I just be sitting up. You know, I'm always talking. And I'm like, I'm always pushing the limit. I'm still trying to trying to broadcast the Saturn and Jupiter and, and, and beyond and all mm-hmm. that. You know, the next the 27th galaxy. And so I've always, I always have ideas that just coming out of my mouth. You know, I wonder if I can do yeah. this. I want to do that. And then, and, then, and then every so once in a while, a lot of every so once in a while, actually, he'll come back and he'll say, oh, let me see what I can do about that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So a closed awesome. mouth does not get fed. That's all I can tell you, you know. And mm-hmm. and it's just really, you know, if you have an idea, if you have a goal, if there's something that you want to accomplish, you know, go ahead and open your mouth, okay? Uh, don't look mm-hmm. at people like, oh, I'm not going to say nothing because they don't know nothing about it. They would never know, know what to do. You never know who it is, okay? Right. And so, and and, you know, if it's me, if you come and bring your idea to me, and maybe I don't know nothing about it or I can't do nothing about it, but I bet you I know that somebody that does, you see? Right. And we all mm-hmm. have that in common. And so I just put that out there for everyone to be encouraged and to, you know, to, to go for those things that, that, that mm-hmm. you want to do. Because especially with the Internet and social, social networking, you know, you really can do what you want. It's just, you know, sure can. you know, mm-hmm. you can do I'm surprised it. How, um, yeah, I'm surprised how um, interesting interest some of these um, these folks who have been on terrestrial radio and TV for so long, how they love podcasters. They love coming on, talking to, like some of them, like I remember, I remember when, um agent told me, he said, he says, a lot of them only have like 10 people listening to them. But that's yeah. that's ten people that's listening to the show that you know. Otherwise, you know, you wouldn't be able to reach them. And you don't know who these people yeah. know. The social media is so big. Once you send that file out there, and one it's of the things, you know, yeah, and it's out there because you know, even though you know, Spreaker, you know, they count our plays and things. Like sometimes I say, wow, hey, this show only had twenty people last night, and next thing you know. The different mm-hmm. shows are starting to add up, and next thing you know, you had about three, four thousand plays for that week. You know, so yeah. it's, it's, it's up to you to keep it moving, you know. Yeah, and, 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 then, and, and then you and, ask people to keep it moving. And if you keep resharing your content, what you want to do is you want to get you a, a auto poster. So if you have Tumblr or a Buffer, mm-hmm. they both will allow you to set a queue. Where, and so all you have to do is load up your post one time, and then it will post it out at however many intervals you set it to during the day. So I've got my, my, my Tumblr is set to post 10 times a day between midnight and midnight. And then my buffer, wow. I have that set to, uh, to set out once every hour, you see. Mm-hmm. And so when I load up, whatever it is I load up, it's going to put that content out there. And when you, when mm-hmm. you take your, your, your older content and you reshare it, it's just like re-airing it again. And that's what gives yeah. us the advantage over a terrestrial. Because terrestrial right. radio, once they air it, it's aired, you see? And right. if people don't God. tune in, they miss it. So we have mm-hmm. a, a distinct advantage. Plus, um, um, you know, don't be discouraged if no one, or if it seems like no one is listening to your show live. Number one, they, there's no tool out there that can actually aggregate um, every listener that's out there. And we have people mm-hmm. listening in by short wave and things like that. And these measures yep. don't always show up. The satellite and all that, they, right. don't, they don't show up. Um, yeah. Uh, and, and, and everyone is getting their entertainment on demand. Okay? Mm-hmm. So that means you know, when you're live, they may be sleeping, they may be working, but they like your content. They will go in there and they will watch it at their leisure, and that's what that and you're that's right. how that happens. So yeah. that's the reason why you want to keep putting your show out there and 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 don't don't be discouraged when you, you it, because listen, I get between four hundred and and a thousand 
people to my network every day. Sometimes it's 10,000. Sometimes it's only 100, okay? But it, it's still a steady flow of traffic. And, and, and with all those numbers, I'm, at, I'm reaching 577 or 75 or however many thousand people, over half a million listeners. And, and it still mm-hmm. feels like I'm not reaching anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right, because because even on on my website, I have like seventeen thousand people claiming they you know they listen, they come to my website clicking. I see all these clicks on on uh you know the the, the books that people have on my site. These people contact me later, say they made the best seller since they've been on my show. They contact me like a month or two later and say, yeah, I got a lot of clicks from Positive Power. Yeah. I was like, really? And I said, wow. Yeah. I said, I go out there and check what the reports are saying, and I said, whoa. <laughs> you know, yeah. Don't say you don't know. You know, you're just assuming because you're here by yourself. <laughs> you just think it's just you and your guests half the time. Yeah, and, and we, we're <laughs> left with that feeling because people, most people don't leave remarks and comments right. when they're watching. You know, they keep it moving. Yeah. You know, and some people uh-huh. are quiet. You know, it's a guy, it was a guy I, was, I just, uh, I haven't seen him in a long time. And I said, how you doing with your podcast? Because he, he does the Game of Thrones. And he said, man, I listen to your thing all the time. I said, really? Lee? He said, yeah. I was like, wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you just never I mean, know. I, you just got to keep, keep it moving. I started getting feedback from other speaker radio shows and, and channels. And, and they were telling me, yeah, you know, every so once in a while, I, I go on and I, I listen to your radio show. <laughs> and I, I tune in, you know, and some of them say, yeah, man, I'm a fan. I listen all the time, you know, right. and then I do, right. I, I do the same, the same thing. I'd be like, yeah, I got my show on the autopilot up in the cloud. So that's why I could afford to go around and listen to everybody else's show. Cause see what I do is in every network and every social network that I'm connected with, uh, every account, I actually do take the time to go through and I listen to other people's shows and I make comments on them and I like their comment and I share it. Now watch this. We know how powerful word of mouth is, right? So mm-hmm. on the internet, this is how word of mouth looks like and how it works, okay? You put out a post, you put out something, and it just sits there. The search engine does not recognize it until someone clicks on it. Now, you can be the same someone that puts the, puts the post out there and the same someone that goes and clicks on it. As soon as you do that, boom, you got it in the search engine. The search engine is going, hello, and it makes it look. Okay? Then when you put a like on that comment, and you share it out, he goes, uh. So then if someone likes that, that thing that you just put out and liked and commented on yourself, okay, now what you've done is now you put that thing straight to the top of the search engine. Now, we're mm-hmm. about to make it 360. We're going to bring it on home, okay? If someone mm-hmm. has liked or left a comment on your stuff, you go back to that and you make a comment on that saying thank you or whatever, okay? That's word of mouth. Now, at this point, you want to take the final step and go to that person's site and make a comment or like something on their site. Okay, and that's the full circle. Yes, and that's what word of mouth looks like and how you expect that on the Internet. And when you do it like that, you forever have a fan. That person will watch your stuff, look out for your stuff, and share your stuff. Why? Because when you like their stuff, they go, oh, my God, oh, my God, Mm -hmm. they like me. And they like you back. You give love, you get love. And that's how you do it. Right. I hope somebody's mm-hmm. paying attention because I just told you how to do it. That's right. That's right. They, they're going to listen to it again. That's engaging. That's right. We're talking to Robin Lynn, Lady Robin Lynn, podcaster on Spricker.com. 
forward slash show, forward slash family in distress, special guest, Judge Joseph Brown, tomorrow night. You got to check it out. She's, she's supporting family in distress, serving men, women, and children in all areas of life, mentoring, coaching, and development. We got to do our thing, y'all. It's time yeah. for us to, and that's what God put us here for, to help each other, not just look at each other and envy each other, but to help each other and push each other to do great and awesome things. <sighs> Robin Lynn. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break for Robin Lynn, and then we come back. Robin, you going, you going to break your own? Yeah. Your final thoughts, because I, I think I got another show coming up. I remember getting a confirmation from my producer, but I'm going to be prepared just in case. All right, okay. you know, all this mayhem out here, people forgetting their, their job duties, but, but we is what it is. All right, hold tight. A message from Merlin Lynn. Mer, yeah, Marie, Merlin Lynn Dunn. Check it out. Hi, I am recording artist Marilyn Dunn from St. Louis, Missouri. If you are looking for some soul-stirring, anointed, spiritual, and heartfelt music, visit my website at www.marilynnministries.com. Or you can also find me on CD Baby, iTunes, and Reverb Nation. For booking information, contact Mr. Kevin Dunn at 636 856-0551. That's 636-856-0551. Hi, I am Arthur Crystal Alexis, and I'm on Positive Power 21 with Jerry Roy Slide. Woohoo! That's right. You tell him, Crystal. You listen to Jerry Roy Slide Worldwide on PositivePower21.org. That's right, y'all. And we got the world-famous one. Robin, man. All right, Robin, you ready to bring us home? I know you're going to have a good time tomorrow night. We can't wait. We're going to be listening to you now. Yeah. Uh, I'm just really, really grateful and excited and happy and hopeful, all of that. Uh, uh, for all the turmoil that's going on in Baltimore and over in the third world and the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and the CIA, Lord forgive them. Uh, just know that I'm praying for, for everybody and everything, for all of us, and you know, just really hoping for the best. I encourage everyone to do what's right, what's good and what's right, you know? And I encourage everyone to, uh, to you know, go for your, go for your goals, go for your dreams. And, and to help one another, you know, uh, along the way. And so, you know, um, even with everything, the turmoil and things that's going on in, in this world and life these days, you know, it's, uh, we really are a blessed people and a blessed nation, you know. Yeah. And so, mm-hmm. you know, we just need to act like we know. That's all. So, that's right. you know. That's right. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah, we just got to fill up that universe with positive things. That's, that's the deal right now. You know? Let the world sweet now. It's love, sweet love. It's the only mm. thing that is just to love you. Why? That's right. You know, and I bet you the universe, they, 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 the universe probably hasn't heard that song in a long time. <laughs> so I'm out there. I wrote that. Wake it all up. <laughs> yeah, wake it up. Wake it up, Robin. There you go. <laughs> and don't forget, y'all, Robin's going to be out there at 6 o'clock. It's going to be on demand, too, so if you can't get to your, to your smartphone or your computer, because I know a lot of you sitting at your computer typing, because I do a lot of writers. I got a lot of writers that make up my audience. A lot of government people in Maryland, so I know they on the train, so they'll get a chance to tune in on Hot Topics. Man up. What's the urgency for men to man up? Radio show tomorrow, 6 o'clock. All right. We'll listen live. All right. Robin, thank you so much for joining us again. We yeah, learn so much yeah, from you yeah. each and every time. We got to make this a regular. We can't We can't keep you away too long. You know? <laughs> okay. I'll be back anytime. Anytime you want. So all you got to do yeah. is let me know. And I'm going to be there. I also... 
want to extend an invitation for you to come on Vibe Live as well um, because mm. you're doing such a, such a great thing. And I would love to expose my, my listeners um, um, to you. And I sure wouldn't mind syndicating your content through my network either. Yeah. That, that would bring awesome. you in a lot, yeah. more, lot more views. And so if it's okay with you, then I take yeah. your widgets okay. and plant them up on my page. And then I'll promote mm. and share those out too as, as support and love. Yeah, yeah to the greatest podcaster that. on the earth. Thought yeah. I don't know. You gotta let me know what, and look, you gotta let me know what show I can broadcast too. Because um, Friday night um, we broadcasting the hair show from Curry uh-huh. Hines out of New York on Friday night, starting at ten, ten to okay. ten, to 10 to twelve or ten to one, and then but well, we got so much space on Friday because I don't do a show on Friday, but I love to take one of your shows. So if you got a show you have in mind that you think would be a good fit with him, we would love okay. to do that. Yeah, because I do a show out of Florida with uh, mm-hmm. Keith and Teresa Powell gospel. Uh-huh. I gospel music so they still be okay. awesome and um, and I think we also stream on, on a urban magazine up in New York so everybody's trying to you know, put together and that's a good thing that we can we podcast and have to show them how to do it right because I, I see too many fights on Facebook too Robin with the poets yeah. and the authors and that's just not how you're supposed to do it y'all you know, yeah. everybody's going to get theirs. Everybody, everybody can't drive five cars. You know, you don't like need one. <laughs> right. You can only drive one at a time. Right. So, you know, right. I don't, you know, you know, you know I, I, yeah. don't get me started. The show is ending. <laughs> That's right. The show is ending. Don't get Robin started. Let me end the show, Robin, because I was going to say, for those of you, you know, those of you who got five cars because you don't like to fill up and you just drive the one that has more gas than the one you just got out, I can understand that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, don't leave that alone, right, Robin? Don't leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you always have a good time with Robin. She's just so funny. We need love like that, Robin. <laughs> so we're going to spread it out there 40,000 more times tonight, y'all. Yeah. Let's do it, y'all. All right, Robin, I tell them all the time. They want to hear the good stuff, the real good stuff on PositivePower21.org and Spricker.com forward slash PositivePower21 with the Madam Lady Robin Lynn. You got to listen to Positive Power with Jerry Woods Live. I'm worldwide. Thank you for tuning in to Jerry Woods Live on PositivePower21.org and Spreaker.com forward slash PositivePower21. This is a Woods Enterprises production. And don't forget about replay on Facebook.com forward slash Jerry Woods Live. Hey y'all, y'all stay awesome. Oh no, I'm Jerry Woods Live. I'm worldwide. You are listening to Jerry Woods Live Worldwide Podcast. Hi, if you're struggling with your relationship or you just can't seem to find the right one, author Gerald Manuel has written an enlightening new book entitled How to Identify Your Spiritual Soulmate. You may order a copy today from Amazon.com or at BarnesandNoble.com. This book is sure to answer many of the questions you may have. Thank you and God bless you. Hi, I'm Kimberly Kimberly, a soul music and jazz inspirational artist. I'm on Jerry Royce Live Soul Music. You are listening to PositivePower21.org with Jerry Royce. What up? It's your boy, Kano Kingston. Hi, this is Angel Sessions. Hey, this is Pat. Hi, I'm Teresa Powell. Hi, Jerry. This is Iowa Sandro Carter. Hi, this is Bill Powers. Hello, this is Teresa Bobby with Jerry Royce Live. Hi, I'm Phil LeBurn. I'm live on the Jerry Royce Show. Hi, what do you do? Boy, who's the same? Hey, this is Dolly, the poet, spoken word artist. Hello, this is Ramon Marquis with Jerry Worth Live. All right, all right, everyone. You got Robin Lynn, and I'm keeping it live right now on Jerry Royce Live. Hey, what's going on, everybody? What's up? This is a war-winning podcast with the greatest podcast on earth. Thank you for stopping by. I'm your host, 
Jerry Lewis Live Worldwide on Internet Radio, where you get your positive on. So when it's all positive, it's all power. That's positive power. This is a worldwide podcast for growth, wealth, and success. Thank you. Think you know how drugs get in those little brown bottles? Take a guess. Set in the green hills of western New Jersey, inside the gilded halls of power of a U.S. pharmaceutical company where decisions are worth billions of dollars and human lives worth less. Nicholas Harding, a young executive at Marshall Pharmaceutical, finds his career, family, and life in jeopardy. The Farmhouse, a suspense thriller novel by Bill Powers, published by Donna Inc. Publications, available at Amazon.com or DonnaInc.org. Go to Bill's webpage at www.authorbillpowers.com. Are you looking for the next great read? A book filled with love, passion, betrayal, and intrigue. The award-winning novel, Season of Change, by Tamika Patrice Kane is sure to satisfy your literary sweet tooth. Check out this must-read book reviewers are calling uplifting and emotional and exceptionally great read, deeply intense and thought-provoking. Order your copy today, available in paperback and ebook on Amazon.com or at www.TamikaPatrice.com. Are you an author looking for promotional services or a reader looking for a great read at low prices? In this competitive world of books, Writing Royalty Promotions is dedicated to bringing authors and readers together to build a greater respect for literature through our various promotional services and online bookstores. So head over to writingroyaltypromotions.com and check us out. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to PositivePower21.org. I am Jerry Voice Live Worldwide, and you're listening to episode 338. That's right, 338 with Kimberly. Kimberly, that's right, our soul music and jazz inspirational singer is here. She's a vocalist, a writer, composer, and we're going to bring her right out here as soon as we hear a word from our sponsor, Reese World Publishing. So hold tight, everybody. And we'll be right back with episode 338 with Kimberly Kimberly. You're going to love her music. Are you an avid reader of urban fiction looking for drama, suspense, and more? Reads World Publishing is dedicated to bringing the world's best literature to our readers. Urban fiction, erotica, sci-fi, mainstream fiction, and children's literature are just some of the genres produced by our diversified family of authors. You can reach us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and at our website, www.reedsworldpublishing.com. All right. Thank you for holding tight. Thank you for our our sponsors for today's show. Tonight we have Kimberly Kimberly. Again, I am Jerry Voice Live. And uh, Kimberly is a soul music, jazz inspirational singer, vocalist, writer, composer. She has a hit single out called I Want to Be Yours. And also we're going to play for you tonight, I'm Praying for You. All right, Kimberly Rivers is a a resident and native of Jacksonville, Florida. Jacksonville, Florida. Being musically inspired her music was her constant companion as she began singing at a young age. Loving many styles of music, the genres of R&B, gospel gave her some of the greatest influences such as Maria Mariah Curry, Fred Hammond, Whitney Houston, CeCe Winans, Tony Braxton, and many others. Her stage name is Kimberly Kimberly, derives from her testimony deliverance from many insecurities and obstacles. The first Kimberly representing her struggles and the second Kimberly representing her break through while adopting the motto, if it weren't for my struggles, I would never stumble across my strengths. Her writing of lyrics leaves her with a passion to share the message of hope, encouragement, healing for others through her music. In 2014, Kimberly Kimberly released her latest single song, video entitled, I Want to Be Yours. We're anticipating a full freshman project to release in 2015. Follow her on all social media and music media, Facebook, 
Kimberly Kimberly, Twitter at Literature Kim by Kimberly, and website www.kimberlykimberlymusic.com. Her management and bookings is through Axe, A C T S Entertainment Management, and that'd be Axe Management at Live.com. All right, sit back, y'all. You're going to listen to my fa- I fell in love with this song in the first five seconds. So check it out, everybody. I want to be yours. version right Kimberly Kimberly hmm how you doing Kimberly Kimberly I'm good how are you Jerry man that song messed me up I love that song hmm Kimberly Kimberly now you have a video for that song right yes oh man I can't wait to see it hmm all right, let me let me give you this first question so we can move on. <laughs> Kimberly Kimberly, who is Kimberly Kimberly? Well, Kimberly Kimberly, I am a soul music and jazz um, artist. Uh, all my music, you will find that it does have an inspiring message. Um, pretty laid back. I, I, when I walk in a room, I always, you know, I, I want to create a, a, a positive energy. So I'm always that person who's always smiling, trying to cheer people up, and, you know, just set that positive energy in the atmosphere. Um, I love to write music. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. I, I live life to it, to, you know, to its fullest. Um, that's, I'm, a, I'm a very genuine person. I, I put God first, and then it comes, you know, my family and because once you, you know, when you put God first, all things, you know, everything else just fall right into place. That's so right, I, I, know, I know it. I know he gave you that song. I want to be yours. Hmm. We're going to get into that a little bit more. But before we get in that song, because I, 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 I can listen to you talk about that forever. Tell us um, about this name, Kimberly Kimberly, your stage name. Now, you know, you started out saying the first Kimberly represents struggles. So where was Kimberly, you know, during those struggles? Where were where were she? Where well, Kimberly, she? during those during those struggles, I was in a in an empty place. You know, I had to find myself. I was going through a lot of, you know, things like church hurt, job hurt, uh, financial issues. You know, it, it's like when you can't when you don't realize who you are and and find your purpose. It's like. Mm-hmm. It, you, you, it seems like it, you'll be haunted, like just things just won't go perfect until you actually fall into the meaning and the purpose of why you're here. So, you know, during, you know, my struggles, I, like I said, I've been church hurt. Um, I went through it with, I've been hurt, by, you know, various things, jobs. I just couldn't seem to even uh, find a job and keep it for over a year. Um mm-hmm. Financial issues. 
I almost died uh, in two car accidents. You know, and wow. you, know, I, you just hear this voice. You know, you know when you have a purpose in life and you know what you should be doing, but you're not doing it. You will constantly hear this voice, you know, telling you this is where you need to be. You need to start writing. You need to start singing. And, you, would, you know, a lot of people had a tendency of, you know, going by uh, the real world tactics, mm-hmm. you know, worried about working for corporate America instead of, you know, you know, they, they forget that God is, you know, he's the reason for the season. And once you walk in his purpose, everything else will fall into place. So we, we ignore that thinking that, mm-hmm. you know, corporate America or things of this world is going to get us where we, you know, need to be, but we forgot that we need to start living and walking in God's light and, and, and he'll guide us to walk in our purpose. And that's what, where the other Kimberly drives from. Um, I, I finally found my purpose and the reason why I'm here. And the reason why I'm here is to inspire and to, and to create, you know, a positive atmosphere for those individuals who listen to my music. I want them to feel peace and encouraged. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's pretty much where the second Kimberly come in at is because I, I found my purpose. And when you find your purpose, it, 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 nothing feels greater than that. Yeah, that is the truth. So, Kimberly, you're speaking, you speaking about a lot of people just now, a lot of people. Walk, was I want to relate. I, I definitely, yeah, I definitely want to let, you know, I, I want to relate to people because, you know, everybody, you know, not, it's, their life is not peaches and cream, you know. Everybody's going yeah. through something, and they, they you know, I want to let everybody know that although you may be going through something, just put God first, and everything else will fall into place. Find your purpose. Yeah. And I Take promise you, every, 